Uh, hi everyone. So every time I would take a bike for a spin and we have this problem here which is called ghost shifting. And let me tell you tell you what I'm talking about. See? Oh wow. See? What I like to call this, this would be unexpected shifting or let's call it unwanted shifting. And I'm going to show you uh, five reasons in this video over here. What causes it? What you can fix it? And let's get into this video right now. Oh, by the way, if you if you found this useful, please give me a like and subscribe so uh, algorithm picks up this video and gets to push it so other people get to see this. And let's start off from the first one. So the first suspect that I've seen quite often when I uh, do the bikes and when I take them for a spin is the uh, uh, bent rear derailleur hanger. What ends up happening? Uh, I'm going to show you over here, uh, this rear uh, uh, derailleur starts to kind of go this way, a bit that way down, and it will, it will uh, unwantedly push, uh, uh, trying to shift actually that way, uh, that's what you don't want. So you will notice that kind of uh, whining, clicking noise, because it will, it will try to push on this uh, different cog, and that's basically what's uh, bent uh, rear derailleur hanger. Now, since we are at it, the second suspect that I would usually uh, that I usually get to see is the uh, rear derailleur hanger bent. So this would be basically the rear derailleur hanger uh, usually ends up going this way. Uh, what I see people doing, they bend their bike against the tree or against the uh, trash can, and usually the rear derailleur hangers are bent in inward. Just same with the same with the hanger, same with the uh, cages. So what they will try to do, just like the uh, like I said at the first time, they will try to shift this way, and that's what you don't want. That's why it's called unwanted shifting. So those are the first two things that I would look at: is the uh, rear derailleur hanger bent, and how is the cage doing? Is that one bent? Okay. Once we have eliminated these two, this is the one that I love to that that I love to tackle. And it was an issue on this bike. Uh, usually what ends up happening, you do have tired uh, uh, derailleur cables that tend to be, that should be replaced over the time. And if you look over here, this bike was uh, ghost shifting on its own. And as soon as I put in the new cable over here, I'll let you see what I'm talking about. See, there's a new cable over here. Guess what? The problem was solved. So I replaced, I fixed this problem by replacing the... Uh, rear derailleur cable, inner cable on this bike, which solved that ghost shifting problem that I had. So this, that is the problem number three. And these are, I think I only paid a buck or two for the Shimano one. So these are pretty cheap. Always throw one when you're doing a tune-up. Always throw a new inner cable if you're doing a tune-up or when you're adjusting your rear derailleur. That's gonna go the long way. That's gonna give you better shifting. That's gonna fix all kinds of problems. Okay. okay, now another issue here that Phil give you that the ghost shifting is this cable over here, you see? I mean this bolt here. So what that will do, uh, basically if the shifters are too loose, like they're not in this case over here, uh, the shifter will allow the cable right here to have a lot of movement and you're gonna experience that uh, ghost shifting from these uh, loose screws that are gonna give lots of movement to get these uh, cables uh, loose, which is something that you don't want. So another problem that I have seen, get these tight so that your, your, your shifters are not allowing the cable to move freely too much, which will result into that uh, goal shifting. Okay, and then the last one, and the one that also uh, includes these, uh, once in a while, uh, I see these mechanisms on a Shimano, it can be a break right inside here. And uh, when you're clicking, these may also give you the uh, ghost shifting that you don't want. So these are the modern, uh, the Campy and uh, Shimano uh, STI. And on the uh, Campy, it's ergonomics uh, Campagnolo uh, modern levers. So these uh, can be from time to time giving you that issue. However, keep in mind that the good news is that on the Campy, uh, you can rebuild the levers. On the, uh, on the Shimano, you cannot do that. 
So that's something that you have to keep in mind. So like I said, uh, these are, if that happens, you just have to replace it. And on the, on the campy, it can be fixed. So these are the five or six issues that will give you that uh, ghost shifting. Please give it a like, subscribe if you find it useful. Take care. Bye-bye.